So a while ago I made some videos about um, finding out the right mic technique for tuning a car stereo sound system uh, with an advanced equalization technique that uh, relies on very fine FFT um, resolution and a large sampling area or not static. Um, it's basically you measure the sampling area for one side and then a sampling area for the other side of your stereo equipment and uh, hopefully the, the way you measure it should balance out in your brain through your ears to be even or the same and that helps with stereo imaging um, because certain frequencies are the same in your the way you hear them and then all those frequencies that are meant to be in the center end up in the center um, but what we're looking at here is uh, the mono sum of the left and right because I thought that would be an easier graph for us all to digest and I did a whole video on these so basically the way you sample the sound pressure averages in your spaces um, does actually vary quite significantly from one technique to the other and therefore the tonal differences will change like this orange one measured high here than this pink one and so if you listen to the orange one it'll be turned down here if you listen to the pink one it'll be turned up there so I went through listening to them one after the other and I could hear those tonal differences and then at the end of one of those videos I said hey wouldn't it be good to show one of these um, graphs where all of the techniques could be shown and how much they differed from their left and right corrections and I knew that that would be some sort of you know pretty wild sort of graph to try and understand and here it is so this is all of the techniques measured um, if I had to take the right measurement and compare it to its left measurement and the corrections differences so this is the Alpine all of cabin technique make the right sound like the left uh, curve so anything above this red line thin red line is the right being turned up and anything below is the, the right uh, being turned down so here you can see even in one technique um, there's a lot of variance in the cabin uh, sound system that, that to try and uh, get a centered image using this technique and um, I'll just say it now, this technique imaged the best and the second best was the centerline technique as you can see it's making a similar stereo correction we'll just refer to this now as just the stereo uh, correction so they both turn things up in the bass by 2 to 4 dB they both pull this 300 uh, across to the, the other side and then uh, they both come up and they both go down and they kind of stay together and then they drift apart there at the ultra high frequencies 10 to 20k now this is where it it got interesting so both these techniques I would call them symmetrical mic averaging techniques the center line is in the center it's you know only a handful or it's a hand width wide all the way to the front of the cabin from the middle of the cabin and the alpine technique is more of a whole of cabin approach um, but it's still symmetrical so it takes the whole of cabin to measure the left and the whole of the cabin to measure the right and they both end up with that and we now get onto the uh, sitting in the driver's seat and measuring ear to ear and as you can see there's a lot of left and right correction going on here um, up to 8 dB, 10 dB and within very short amount of octaves here it does it at least four times or so and um, that translated to a lack of focus in uh, basically say you know piano bodies voices you know very important uh, tonal changes made there and it's still up in the air at this point as to uh, is this group more correct or this group more correct and the only things I had to go on was 
listening to these two thinking that stereo stage really works everything's at the same distance away from me and things are much smaller and things that are hard to pick out in their separation are easier to pick out and when you hear this you go to this preset and you go it's really hard to pick certain things out and everything seems to come forward a tiny bit and also it's a lot messier when I mentioned in a few videos that the mid left and mid right would seem to poke themselves a bit more rightish and a bit more leftish due to the errors so you can see here that there's, if there's a 6 to 8 dB swing that could translate to a you know a 3 dB widening of your mid left and mid rights um, we have another uh, single seat tuning which wasn't uh, that much off these two but a little bit more in the treble there and see these little little humpty dumpties there and just pulling away in the uh, sub region so a lot of these ones that weren't symmetrical had a different sub reading to the symmetrical techniques and this is the uh, headrest unseated uh, driver seat tuning as you can see it's it's quite linear uh, it has this base trend being lower than the the average and I'll just chuck up those two symmetrical techniques so you can see there's a bit of a deviation here in the mid-range where it's not correcting as much um, this unseated one for some reason I could still I think it was mainly the bass bothering me kept pulling left um, it's easy to look at it now and, and say that it wasn't quite as good but like, what was it and uh, like I said in some songs it's just one instrument that gives you a, a little telltale feeling and then sometimes you just switch and the whole stage sounds better and uh, this is the uh, the pink one is the big box driver's seat uh, big box unseated and this one's uh, stereo separation was you know maybe top three sort of thing I did go to that one for a day or two and and um, then would come back to the Alpine or the center line and go yeah there's an improvement so it must be in the uh, in these bass frequencies that does it and still they've got that little wiggle that some of these other ones had uh, yeah the unseated had, had some wiggles the lasers had some wiggles so that was the left and right changes that a, every technique has and I could go on with setting one as the master and showing you the difference between them so that's the difference between Alpine and Centerline how, shows you how close they are to each other uh, Alpine to ear to ear shows you how they did not correct much in similarities Alpine versus ears or lasers and so forth Finding the order in chaos. Sometimes something looks chaotic and there's a bit of an order to it. And in this vision of a bay on a calm day, it looks chaotic, but um, then you start to flip things upside down, zoom in, and if you squint, you can see some of the order, some of the rows, some of the parallels, Things are moving in both directions. And then you turn it 90 degrees. Things are going from right to left and left to right. That's what I see.